Question number 17, part A. Explain how a fuse protects electrical devices from damage. So a fuse is made up of a thin wire. So when there is excess current, it heats up and breaks, so it breaks the circuit. So you can put it like this, uh, fuses are made uh, of short uh, thin wire of raw melting point. of rope melting point uh, when current exit exit uh, the fuse rating the fuse rating uh, the fuse wire get very hot uh, gets very hot very hot uh, and uh, melts and melts so as it melts, uh, then it breaks the circuit. Uh, hence, breaking the current. The current. Uh, you can also say excess current convert to heat energy, which melts the fuse which has a raw melting point, hence breaking the circuit. Part B. State and explain why voltage in mains electricity is stepped up before long distance transmission. Uh, current makes the wires very hot. That means there is loss of energy. So we step uh, up to reduce current so that we don't lose uh, energy through heat. So you say, uh, to minimize to minimize uh, power loss of in transmission power in transmission uh, cables for any given resistance resistance for any given resistance in a circuit in a circuit uh, when the current is high when the current is high Uh, when the current is high, the power rose is high. And uh, when current is low, is low, uh, power rose is low. Power loss is low. That is why we step uh, down. That's stepping up voltage. Up the voltage. That's uh, the voltage reduces current in circuit. in circuit 
reduces current in circuit uh, therefore therefore uh, therefore power loss Uh, where we have power is equal to I current multiplied by resistance current is minimized uh, the, the power loss is minimized uh, by stepping up voltage So you see here power is equal to current uh, squared R. So when you minimize the current flowing, it reduces the loss of power. So that's how you answer that. Let's go to the next part. Uh, part C, figure 13 shows how power can be transmitted from a generating station through transformers P, Q and R to the consumers. So we have the station where power is generated. We have transformer uh, P. Q and R, we have the, uh, where the power is uh, stepped uh, down to heavy industry and uh, to a school, a consumer. Uh, Roman number one, identify the type of transformer labeled P. So transformer labeled P is a step up uh, uh, transformer uh, that uh, step up the transmission. Uh, so we say it is step up transformer all right Roman number two explain how the number of turns in primary and secondary coils of transformer P affects its auto output voltage so we can say constantly changing current constant changing in primary in primary and changing magnetic flux and changing magnetic flux pattern pattern which is linked which is linked uh, to each turn in secondary in secondary secondary coil Uh, which we can call magnetic flux linkage linkage inducing an in EMF and EMF electromotive force uh, in each time so you get yourself three marks there uh, number number three state the reason why one of the wires from R to the school should be at so this is a this is a two wires connected to the school uh, so it, the, they are to be added uh, to produce uh, that is uh, to produce A neutral wire which is uh, at zero potential so that's how you answer that question let's go to the next part 
At D, a power station generates 11 kilovolts at a current of 1 ampere. The voltage is stepped up to 160 kilovolts uh, before being transmitted through electric cables. Electric cables. Assuming the transformer is 100% efficient, determining the secondary current. So the voltage in primary, which you call VP, divided by voltage in secondary, is the same as uh, current in secondary divided by current, th that is current in primary, which is 1 ampere. And therefore, I current in secondary is equals to, uh, this is, uh, uh, before we do that, uh, let's, uh, let's put the values. So we are going to say 11 kilovolts divided by 160 kilovolts is equals to uh, current in secondary divided by a current in primary, which is, uh, which is 1 ampere that is a uh, one ampere that is in primary therefore we say that i current in secondary is equals to we cross multiply uh, by one which will be and we divide 11 by 160 you get it is 0 0.687 uh, amperes so that is a current that will be in, in secondary after stepping out using a step up transformer so that brings us to the end of that question. Uh, let's go to the next question, number 18.